Hey guys, Jamin with PC Monkey bringing you another key replacement video today. I have an Asus K55A laptop and I'm going to be showing you how to take a key off safely without breaking it and how to put it on safely without breaking it uh, with one of the larger keys like space, shift, enter, uh, one of those larger ones. If you wanted to see how to do a smaller normal letter size key, check out the video link below in the description. That'll be a link to one of these letter size keys, the square ones. Now I'm going to show you how to take it off first in the video. Uh, because you may not be able to find these keys for sale individually. You may have to buy an entire keyboard and then take a key off of there. Uh, but then after that I'll show you how to put it on safely without breaking it. Uh, so now we can get into the repair. So I'm going to take my flat head screwdriver and I'm going to slide it underneath the keycap, which is this top part. But I'm going to try to get it on top of the retainer clips. There are two clips, one on this side, one on this side. I'm going to try to hold those down so they don't break while I peel off this clip. Uh, there's also a rubber component in, in the middle that I'm going to try not to break. And there's also uh, one or two metal stabilizer bars. So I'll, I'll show you what everything looks like once I get it up. But just keep in mind, you're going to try to feel out your way. And you're going to hold those clips down so it doesn't break. Okay, so there comes my, my clip. And as you can see, my flathead screwdriver is holding down these two uh, plastic clips here. I also didn't damage my rubber spring component. That's only held on by glue. So if you rip that up accidentally, it's very hard to get back down. And then in this key, you had this, pla uh, this metal stabilizer bar here. So in order to get these retainer clips up, uh, they're generally held down the same way. You generally have a two-part plastic retainer clip that, that fits into itself on the sides with little plastic pins. And it's held down to the keyboard by four metal pins near the four corners or sometimes by three two near the corners on one end and one in the center on the other end but ours is pretty standard it's it's, it's four metal pins the way to get this up i'm going to try to push up with my fingernail on that clip as much as i can while i gently and slowly wedge this plastic clip out from under these metal pins so this is a very delicate process if you're going to break it you'll probably break it here so go very slow and I'll show you what I'm going to try to do here. So I'm going to push up. Okay, so let me put that down on the keyboard for you. Slide that over so you can see it. So if you can see this here, there's a plastic pin here on this corner and a plastic pin here on this corner. Those fit underneath the metal pins here. They're very tiny, very breakable. And if you don't wedge them out from under the metal and you just push up too much, they'll snap right off. And then this won't fit in there securely, which means when your keycap snaps onto it, this won't be secure and it'll wiggle and, it, and it'll fall off. So that's probably the hardest thing to do there. Um, if this component comes undone from itself and it comes apart into two pieces, don't freak out. You can get them back. Uh, there's a, just like these small uh, plastic pins, there are two small ones on the inner clip that fit into the outer. So again, don't break those. Uh, but as long as those aren't broken, you can get this back together. And again, you can always reference the other one here um, if you need to see how to get it back together. So in order to put this on now, I'm gonna take this pin, I'm gonna set it down bottom first. We took the top off first, so I set it down bottom first. Get the bottom metal pins, get the plastic underneath the bottom metal pins where they should go. Make sure the overall clip is centered and then just press in the corners and they should just snap in as long as you didn't break it. So that's how you would snap that into place. Now as far as this metal stabilizer bar, it snaps in uh, to one, two, to three snaps on the bottom. But if you notice, it's, it's, it's not a hard snap. It doesn't snap firmly into any one place. It kind of slides around uh, left and right, up and down. So it's a little tricky to get that just centered. But you're gonna take that, make sure it's snapped into the key, slide it back into these two metal holes on either side, and then lay it down somewhat centered. And once you get it centered enough, you can press it down and it snaps into place as well. Just like that. So that may take you a few times to get everything lined up and centered just correctly and, and pressed down. I have a pretty good feel for it because I've been doing this for a while. But if that takes a, a few tries, don't worry. Just if, if it snaps into place weird and it's not working right, just snap it back up, line everything up and, and try it again. But that's how you would do a, a larger key. So that's how you would repair a key on a K55A laptop. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them for me below. 
Uh, please like and share if this is helpful. And uh, please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks for watching, guys.